friends this morning i stand before you to share a dream i had a dream and uh, to realize the dream there were lots of struggle lots of convincing and at the end i feel happy that i have realized the dream and uh, leaving this legacy for the next generation to take it further i had a dream that the pharmacy profession should get a due recognition in the health sciences i had a dream that the pharmacist should stand shoulder to shoulder with the physician and be able to provide the required information on medicines support the physician in his decision to give the right medicine at the right time and at the right dose to the patient i had the dream that the patient recognizes the value of the pharmacist in helping him in taking the right medicine these dreams were little difficult for me at that time when i initiated it that is in 2003 when i was the president of pharmacy council of india this is because the pharmacy profession was globally known for the producing of quality medicines it was known as the the pharmacy of the world indian pharmacists were known as the pharmacy of the world the pharmaceutical scientists produced some of the best medicines and it was available throughout the world but pharmacist role in healthcare was not visible it was unacceptable for me because the pharmacists who were there in the hospitals or in the community pharmacy or drug stores as we say they were not visible their knowledge was not used or they were felt they will not add value to the profession so this was unacceptable and uh, it was something which ignited the fire in me i wanted to see how these pharmacists become knowledgeable are competent and are able to do all those things to the physician to the patient and also to the caregiver who will be associated with them with this dream i started working towards how do we realize these objectives in the patients the dream was to shape a clinically competent pharmacist a pharmacist who is knowledgeable about the diseases a pharmacist who is knowledgeable about the type of practice the physician would do the pharmacist who knew about the various health conditions of the patient and then be able to provide the care in the right direction to them with this dream and looking at the professionals that i would like to create in the future i started my work as the president of pharmacy council of india when i was the president of pharmacy council of india in 2003 i took up this responsibility i saw a daunting task in front of me even my own colleagues in the pharmacy council were skeptical about it they said no no we are all known for producing and manufacturing medicines nobody would recognize us in the healthcare area that was their vision to change their minds i took those skeptics and sent them overseas to see how the pharmacy profession has changed in the rest of the world why are we at the same level the skeptics when they visited the various countries where the pharmacy profession has advanced they came back inspired they came back changed and they were all ready to support me to see that how do we bring about this change in the pharmacy profession see next responsibility was to work with the greatest partners a pharmacy should have that is the healthcare providers the physicians so it was important for me not just to talk about my dream and do something and get away with that it is important to see that everybody believes in you the same way you believe in something so the dialogue with the health professionals started i met the peers in the medical profession i spoke to them and i convinced them that the pharmacists the clinically trained pharmacists are there to support them 
not to sub sub uh, substitute them. They are there to collaborate with them and not to compete with them. When this objective was clear and the roles were defined, I think it was easy for me to move further and convince the health professionals and they also accepted it. And they gave in fact very strong recommendations that there is a need for a specialist who knows about medicines in the healthcare team so that crucial decisions can be taken. The third step was that we had to convince the government because today we may have any idea on our own self that we would like to be in a particular way or do certain innovation in our field and bring forward. But unless the government is not going to be convinced, the implementation of it is not going to be successful. So my next effort was to work with the government, make sure that the government is uh, convinced equally about this process and we presented to them the details of the Doctor of Pharmacy program, the PharmD program as we called it, where we train clinically competent clinical pharmacists who would be there to care, take care of this thing. Having convinced them, then the pharmacy re PharmD regulations came in place in 2008. Now in 2008, when the PharmD regulations came in place, there were only few institutions who were ready because it was a risk, investment in infrastructure, getting specially trained people and trying to see that something new and attract students to come to your responsibility and take these new roles. At that time, a handful of the institution, including the JSS institution, came forward to introduce this program. Today, in 2024, about 20 years later, or 20, less than 20 years later, we are seeing that there are more than 400 pharmacy institutions that are offering the PharmD program. Now, if we look at these uh, opportunities that are existing in the PharmD uh, regulators, it is very important for us to understand that what type of impact or the ripple effect they have produced in the country. One of the conditions which was there for starting the PharmD program was for the institution to have a tie-up with a 300-bed hospital. That was a compulsory requirement. So with this, you can imagine now, 400 institutions offering the PharmD program have tie up with 400, 300 bed hospitals across the country. In each of these hospitals, at least if we take 100 health professionals are there, they get influenced by this partnership. They get the clinical pharmacist support, they get the type of input which they can do and get a, provide a better care. There are 1,000 patients at least coming every day into these hospitals, 300 bed hospitals. Uh, at least these 1,000 patients in these 4,400 institutions are getting an advice of the, the, med, the, med, the right medicine they have to take and see that uh, their effectiveness of these medicines are there for them. So you can imagine the ripple effect which it produces. Just one decision to try and implement a program which can bring a clinically competent pharmacist how it has produced the ripple effect in strengthening the, the healthcare provider, the physician, in getting the right information about the medications, unbiased information about medications, and see that these medications do not also interact with each other and produce only the beneficial effect to the patient. So he has the source of these experts there. If you look at the next level, these patients who had nowhere to turn around and ask about the medicines they are taking, they are getting benefited by this. Not only that, the clinical pharmacist not only provide the best uh, information to the patients also, but they also follow up and see how the beneficial effects of the patients are translated into the vision which the physician has put for himself. So this one stone, one small ripple had led to the so many other activities which is associated with that. Now, moving forward, now what was the my dream beyond this ripple? We have created one step, we have created the PharmD, we have created the clinical pharmacist positions. So now fine, now is that the end of the road? I am a dreamer, I don't give up so easily. So then I said, how can we cross this beyond the borders of India? So then the experiment started in Mauritius, where we have a pharmacy school of JSS, and we felt, can we bring about a change in the country, a change which has got only one million population, and 400 pharmacists. It is just like a 
closed clinical study you are carrying out. The experiment was that can we influence this small population and the pharmacists and healthcare providers to bring about a transformation in the healthcare which we can do. The journey has begun. The dream is taking place. Today, the pharmacists there in the Mauritius are getting benefited and they are eagerly enrolling for this program again to educate themselves further and see that how they can bring the transformation. Now, does it stop here? You keep dreaming and do it. No, we have to create the next generation to move on. So now my role is also to see how these educators, the future generation which is going to be there, how they are trained, how they are benefited, how they carry out the journey and how they will bring about the change which we are looking at. Because a beginning is not the end. It has to continue. The journey has to continue. The ripple effect has to continue. And these small, small stones of the students who are there everywhere, they will create their own ripples and they will bring about the change which we are looking at. Now, having done that, my next step was to inspire the next generation. Now, I said that I try to inspire, I try to talk to the students, I try to motivate them and make sure that they need the courage, persistence and willingness to do it. Because this effort which I talked about, my dream, it did not come easy to me. There was a lot of hard work. It took five years for me from 2003 to 2008 to convince everyone. And from 2008 to now, we are continuing the journey. So it's not going to be an easy task if we expect quick results like uh, you today do with a fast food or a AI generated report. Life is not going to be fair like that to you. You have to work, you have to have courage, you have to have persistence, you have to have resilience. And this is the change which I'd like to uh, tell the students here that you need to have all these qualities to take it further. Every time, now I feel, every time a clinical pharmacist is playing his role, I feel happy that there is one more physician in this country who is getting the benefit of the right knowledge about the medicines. I get happy that there is one more patient who is getting the right medicine. I feel happy that one more family gets the benefit of the advice of the pharmacist because the right medicine saves so much costs on the family on the cost of the medicines which is associated with that. So with this thing, the dream continues to be there. The power of dream is uh, very, very important. One dream to transform a profession, one dream to, touch, uh, to change the perceptions and one ripple that has touched the lives of millions. I think this is something which we all should try to do it. We should all try to understand what is the power of a dream. If you do not have a dream, then you do not move forward. Particularly young students, I would like to say that because I would like to recall here what Dr. Kalam always tells me, has told me and he has inspired me also. When I talked to him about this dream, he said, Suresh, you have a dream. Now convert it into a vision, then make it into a reality. I said, yes, we will move forward. And he was at that time the president of uh, India. And when I met him with this proposal, he said his support will be there. And he put the right words to the different groups and it did bring out the change which we wanted. And he also told Suresh his favorite quote, which he tells that dream is not something which you get in your sleep. Dream is something which you should give you sleepless nights. So all those sleepless nights have seen what is the transformation which we have seen today. But I continue to dream. I don't stop here. Pharmacy dream, I have said, and the younger generation is going on. Now my dream continues with a different segment. I am at JSS Academy of Higher Education Research. My dream is that how JSS Academy can become a unique university. My dream is how the Varuna campus across which you are building can have 20,000 students on there. My dream is how those universities will be, uh, how that university will be attracted by many other, other universities in the world and want to partner with us. This dream continues. So all you require is a dream and move forward with that. I always tell this quote that uh, the sun sets to rise again. So I always say one dream definitely gives you a ripple. And if you have more dreams, continue to dream, there'll be more ripples, more changes. And be sure that the sun will rise again, new dream will be there, new effect will be there, new transformation will be there. My dear young students, my dear friends, I would like you to 
first start with a big dream for your life. You are on different stages of your career now. The career, you may be thinking in a particular direction. But if you have a larger dream, I think whatever you wanted to achieve in life will come to you. Please dream. Dream big. And never be afraid of dreaming big. Thank you all.